You're watching Telecom TV for Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. Joining me now are Honoré Labodette of VMware and Abby Englet of AT&T. Honoré and Abby, good to see you both again. Hello, Excellent. good to see you as well. We're here at Mobile World Congress in, in Barcelona um, and AT&T and, and VMware have made a new announcement this year, collaboration. Can, can you uh, tell me more about it, Abby? Certainly. As you probably know, AT&T launched the first mobile 5G network in the United States, right? A part of that mobile 5G network is a part of a broader 5G strategy we have, which is mobile, fixed, and edge compute pillars. And part of the fixed wireless broadband now allows us to offer fixed broadband as part of networking, and SD-WAN can now ride over fixed broadband as well, complementing the range of technologies we have. The second really interesting thing about this is SD-WAN mm -hmm. and 5G working together. Initially, all the control for the application was built into the SD-WAN layer, allowing to steer to transport and transport to simply carry it. But now transport is intelligent too and it can actually have differential performance levels that can be signaled to it by the SD-WAN layer. So you have two sets of intelligence working together. And Honoré, would you like to add some detail? Yes, so as you know, when we spoke last year, we talked about VMware's multi-cloud strategy, and one component in that multi-cloud strategy is the telco cloud. This year, we're putting more emphasis on the edge component of that multi-cloud strategy. We view multi-cloud as four clouds, private, public, telco cloud and now the edge. Our announcement with AT&T is very strategic and imperative to our edge strategy in that we now get to work with AT&T to deliver edge solutions, leveraging their 5G deployments, uh, their market leadership position with 5G deployments in the US, and to deliver to our enterprise customers those edge solutions are leveraging 5G in the marketplace today as part of our overall edge strategy. And Abby, you, you launched the SD1 services uh, last year when you selected VeloCloud by VMware. What have you learned over those past 12 months? So SD-WAN has become a critical element of our edge-to-edge -edge networking strategy. As everything gets connected and customers increasingly are looking to gather information and control from all points of their people, process, and assets, it's become an invaluable portion of that area. If you recall, we said, we think we're going to see big success in some of the verticals. That's what we're seeing. We've done great work in the financial service area in branch banking, which allows us to extend our edge to edge networking strategy, not just from the core headquarters site and the big data centers, but to smaller branch locations, where SD-WAN really allows us to extend that control further and further into the network. So this has been a great success from my perspective. Honoré, would you yes, agree? Yes, thank you. Well, so as you know, VMware's uh, delivering solutions to the enterprise market, right? We have been delivering uh, software-defined solutions to the enterprise for over 25 years now. So this is really very key to our ability to offer to the enterprise brand solutions so that they can realize the promise of 5G and implement those types of use cases to which I'll be referred. Right, and that's really the importance of this in terms of our edge cloud strategy, as well as our partnership with AT&T, and as well as the importance of us to be able to deliver those solutions to the enterprise customer. If you think about it in the context of vertical applications, like manufacturing, like retail, like healthcare, those applications are going to become mission critical applications, and it will be key to the enterprise customer to be able to choose the path that those mission critical applications take across the network. And only through the innovation and the technology that VMware and AT&T is building together will our enterprise customers be able to do that. And here's one specific use case where the intelligence of SD-WAN and the abilities of 5G has really come through. Imagine a manufacturing scenario. I think it's best to think of specific examples, right? And imagine that SD-WAN controlled with 5G and the 5G intelligence allows you to create different networking slices now for different tasks in the manufacturing floor. So you could have one slice which is being used for general purpose internet access, another slice with a very different set of characteristics now being reserved for the critical robotics manufacturing line automation. You can't have that particular slice go down, it's gonna have different characteristics. And combining SD-WAN with 5G, you take the control not just from the SD-WAN, but intelligence in the network itself at the transport layer. That's different, 
that's groundbreaking and that's something that has never been done before. Exactly, as well as the ability to manage and control that inside of your cloud management office, which is part of what AT&T is delivering in their SD-WAN solution. Honoré, VeloCloud adoption has been very successful for VMware. Um, I understand it's a, now a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for one edge infrastructure. And we're really very excited about that. You know, needless to say, it's um, something that we're really very proud about and um, something that we look forward to continuing going into FY20. As we think about Gartner's selection of VMware as the leader in the Magic Quadrant, you know, they measure or they evaluate based on vision and strategy as well as execution. And I think the execution part of it is what's most exciting for us and also is a key component to our partnership with AT&T. We've been able to actually take a differentiated SD-WAN solution into the marketplace, not only, you know, to the enterprise, but to the enterprise through partners like AT&T because the solution has inherent capabilities that are an advantage to companies like at t in terms of what they want to deploy and what they want to offer to their customers. Together, I think it, it dramatically contributes to our ability to execute going forward, right? at t is today our largest partner for SD-WAN in the enterprise space, and we are excited to see that continue. Abby, how does this new offering make services more cost-effective for customers? So if you think about what customers want, they want edge-to-edge -edge networking, okay? And what SD-WAN does is allows us to extend our network from the larger sites to smaller sites. We've gone through and educated our sales teams and our solutioning teams on what we call site typing. How do you take a hybrid network constructed for a customer so you have the right technologies at the right sites for the right types of applications and workforces? And SD-WAN is an important element of that. SD-WAN, tightly combined with transport, is where the execution really comes to life. And that's what Honoré was referencing earlier. We make it easy for enterprises to really extend their networks with a combination of SD-WAN and transport, tightly coupled as part of an edge-to-edge -edge hybrid networking strategy. And Honoré, as we look for the rest of uh, 2019, what does success look like for VMware? Success for VMware is really to continue on the partnership that we have with AT&T. The announcement that we made this week is just the beginning of a series of announcements mm -hmm. that uh, the marketplace will see and our enterprise customers will see with regards to how we're going to continue to move the enterprise customer to realizing the value of those applications as they need to deploy those applications. The innovation is really, it's just the very beginning part of the innovation of the two companies together. And so success for VMware really is to continue along those lines with AT&T in the marketplace. Right. And finally, success for AT&T, what does that look like for this year? You know, we're going to democratize what we've done in hybrid networking. Today we've been talking all about enterprises. Right. What we are really working on right now is taking a package of SD-WAN and transport and making it just really simple for even small and medium-sized businesses to deploy. Therefore, democratizing edge-to-edge -edge networking for a larger marketplace. Great. Well, Abby and Honoré, thank you both very thank much you. for joining us here at Mobile World Congress. Yes, thank, thank you, you very much.